Hello friend, my name is Mohit Gupta. My email ID is mohit.e.gupta at gmail.com. So in this video, I will show you how to create a logic app for receiving a JSON array uh, using REST endpoint and save each record in Azure SQL database. So in this video, we will follow the following step. First, we will create a SQL database and data, database server. Then we will create the database table. Then we will design the logic app which will accept the data. Then we will test the logic app. Let's go to the Azure portal. Let's first create the resource group. Now, first we first uh, let's create the database and database server. Uh, click on the SQL databases. Add. Give the database name. Select the resource group which we have created. Uh, so we are taking the blank database and let's create the server. Let's give the server admin login. Make sure uh, do not use uh, default uh, like administrator or admin because uh, it will not accept. So it will take some time to create the database. So you have to wait for some some minute. So, so database is ready. And now let's create the uh, table uh, inside the database using query editor. And provide the password. I have the script ready for creating the table. So let me paste here and run. Succeeded successfully. So let's check here whether database has been table has been created or not. So our table is ready. Okay. So next steps is to create the logic app. Create the logic app. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So our logic app has been created. Now let's start designing the logic app. I'm taking a blank template. Now uh, in my logic app, I want to expose this logic app as a REST API. So I'll take HTTP trigger. Okay. So uh, when you complete this logic app, then it will create the it on HTTP endpoint. So this is uh, the request for the JSON schema that we have to provide like uh, what type of uh, JSON we want to receive with this logic app. So I have a template. So um, I have a sample uh, payload. So I will put that payload here. This is the sample uh, payload which I will send to this logic app. Now let's let insert a uh, action like um, after receive a request what what action logic app will form perform so we want we want to insert the value to the to the database okay so first um, so we can we can accept a collection of array from from the uh, request so for that we need a for, we need a for loop in which uh, for for each and every for loop the record will send to the database so we'll search for for each loop so this is the for each loop now uh, uh, for each employees uh, we want to insert the data to the table so this is our existing database connection this is the database and provide the username and password Select the table. Now inside the table uh, we have these columns. So in each and every column we have to pass the JSON JSON parameter value. So user ID. job title name first name last name
this is how we will map uh, table name with json attribute now let's save this So it is save now if you want to check the endpoint so this is an endpoint uh, which got generated okay now uh, our logic app is ready now we have to test our logic app so we can use any online tool uh, to test our logic app so I'm using API tester so this this is the API tester and uh, I have uh, given the endpoint of my logic app okay so this is the JSON data which I want to post and uh, make sure to add uh, content type as uh, application JSON because we are sending the JSON request okay now test this uh, test this uh, API after uh, click on test we, we can check in the uh, logic app and it, it will show you the uh, your request uh, succeeded okay and we, we can check we can also check from the database in the database we can uh, put the select query This is our. Uh, let's test again with, with some different uh, ID. Uh, let's change the first name to Mohit and test again. Okay, now check. see we have two records uh, now and first name has been changed to Mohit so this is how uh, this is our working uh, logic app uh, we have so many features in logic app we can uh, we can check what are the requests we have sent and So for the for the troubleshooting purpose we can check uh, these are the requests which are sent how much time it has been taken and each and every step uh, uh, how much uh, time it take if it uh, fails somehow so we can correct and uh, resubmit again So we, we can uh, it will show you that uh, this is what uh, we received as a JSON and in JSON then how it will send the request to the database so this is uh, this is our de our demo has been completed so thanks for watching my video and if you have any query you can uh, put your comments over there